It's time for our 2023 mid-year outlook. We've got a lot going on in the markets and the economy. We're covering topics that are top of mind for our clients, what we have been discussing in meetings lately. We're gonna cover inflation. It's been with us for a while, but it's still here. And then we'll cover the economy. Is it slowing down? And what impact will that have on financial markets? Today, we're gonna to focus on topics that are top of mind for our clients. So Melissa, what are you hearing? Thank you, Brian. In my conversations with clients, we're getting a lot of questions about the health of the financial system, the potential for a recession, and when we could see inflation decrease. Ultimately, what changes they should be making in their investments. So let's first start with the financial system. Well, the financial system is going through some stress. It's being caused from many factors. U.S. federal government, too much debt. It's been racked up over decades. And now these higher interest rates are starting to bite. Commercial real estate, another stress area. Never really covered, recovered from the pandemic. And you've got the work from home uh, trend that is reduced occupancy levels. But stepping back, what the real issue is the high inflation that we experienced starting in 2021. It continued in 2022. The Fed decides they need to hike rates. They were guiding towards it wasn't a Volcker moment, that they would be able to just hike two to three times. Inflation went a lot higher. They ended up having to hike 500 basis points in about a year. No one was prepared for it. Transitory inflation really wasn't very transitory, was it? <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and to your point about inflation, back in the summer of 2022, headline consumer price index had increased 9% year over year. And we're about half of that right now, but that's still well above the Fed's target where the Fed wants us to be. We're seeing some signs of inflation rolling over, but our clients, whether they're managing their businesses or supporting a family, they're really not seeing that. Steve, how do we address that disconnect where the data is saying one thing, but personal experiences are telling us something quite different? Now, Melissa, well, the fact is the clients are right. Uh, prices are still going up. So as we talk about inflation coming down, that doesn't mean prices are falling. That just means that prices are going up more slowly than they had for the past few months. So that's good. But the broad increase in the price levels that we saw last year was something that we had not seen for decades. And it's just going to take a while for that to have to work through the system. Now, this really uh, emphasizes why the Fed is thinking about long-term inflation expectations because if people start to expect inflation to continue to be high, it changes their behaviors and the Fed really wants to try and avoid that. Another topic that is coming up in client conversations is the potential for recession. Anytime we talk about the economy slowing, so there are various potential signals for that. Tightening lending conditions, aggressive Fed hikes, and yield curve inversion. So Matt, what are our thoughts on recession? Coming out of COVID, they had a tailwind, all right? They had $2 trillion in excess savings, and they also had a white hot job market where it was easy to find employment and wages were going up. Now those tailwinds are becoming headwinds. First, most of the excess savings is actually gone. Uh, we see that in credit card data where we see new highs in credit card balances. Second, the job market. Companies are starting to experience inflation as well. And they're starting to say, do I protect margin or do I go for growth? And what we're seeing is with 500 base increase, basis point increase in interest rates, they're looking to protect margin. So we've seen some layoffs, particularly in the tech industry. Should that spread, we would have a recession coming to us. And so we're watching jobless claims on a weekly basis to see what's going on in the labor market. But I would say that in the next three to nine months, we're likely to have a recession, more likely than not, in my view. Really, our clients, they ultimately want to know, what does this mean for my investments? Should I be making any changes? And we really want to stress the importance of staying focused on your long-term goals and not getting too caught up in what you're seeing in the headlines. Our portfolios take into account market declines, these market declines that we, we might be experiencing. We took a deeper dive into these topics through additional videos and resources. I encourage you to check out the information that we share here and in other communications. And as always, if you have questions, I encourage you to reach out to your BOK financial partner. We are here to help you navigate through these uncertain times.